Welcome back everyone, it's Vordy. I'm uh, making another Final uh, Fantasy Brave XPS video here. Uh, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to do some PvP here on my global account. Just kind of with the new rules and now that uh, Dark Fina is in. I'm just going to do a few videos uh, here. I'm actually using my iOS device. I got a recording uh, thing for my phone. So now I'm actually using my, uh, my, my phone rather than using the emulator, which is what I was using before. So I kind of do on and off. So let's see what we can, uh, who, who's easy here, who, this guy, this guy looks easy. So, uh, as you have seen my previous videos, I go for the squish units as much as possible because I run a full physical team uh, with one healer, but they, it, I rarely ever heal. I just use them for embolden. And to be completely honest, I probably should get rid of uh, Refia because she's not really, my guys can kill them without Refia's buff, so it's not a big deal. So the way I do it, I just throw up Noctis to see what I can uh, stop. So there are three guys are pretty much dead already. And then I chain these two guys and then do a chain finisher with Gilgamesh. And uh, it's been working with me, for me pretty well. Uh, normally the characters that survive are the ones that have high resistances because right now I am wearing uh, fire weapons on my guys from the previous event we have. And just because they chain really, really well, I'm, I kept them on there. And the team uh, that I have built is doing well. So. I can't complain too much about that, so I'm just gonna keep it uh, till things are. Even though this week's it's fire attacks don't work, but the fire attacks are still a chaining, and I'm not sure if it's doing anything or not. But the people are dying, bodies are dropping, so I'm not really sure uh, if it's broken or not. But I'm not gonna complain as long as it's going my way. I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining, bro. So let's go. We'll do that again. Hit all. Area Blast, Divider, and Blizzard Blast, so boom, one, two, so two guys are pretty much finished, and then mid-chain. Uh, the reason I'm using Gilgamesh as a finisher, as I keep calling him, is, is that he only goes in and out twice, so I kind of put him in the middle of the chain, so that he at least gets some sort of bonus. I think that's how it works, but uh, is he going to dominate me? Is he going to stop all my characters? He stopped two guys. He is good. That Noctis might actually beat me. He might actually beat me. He's going to do it again. Watch. He's going to do a double flask. Nope. He didn't do a double flask. But they went and he attacked the guy who stopped, which was really cool on his end. So I'm going to return the favor. And I'll take that. That's what you get. And just because, because I want to, I'm going to poop on you right now. Bam. Poop. And then two more poop. I don't know why I made lightning attack. I was going to win anyways. So yeah, I mean, Noctis is so overpowered. He could literally, when when he's dual wielding, he can double cast Flask, uh, the Blizzard Flask, and mess you up. If he gets lucky, he can he can stop your whole party. And as most of you probably know, that's game over. So I'm gonna continue and try and if I can, I will avoid uh, fighting Noctis specifically for that, and more so because I'm trying to get the hundred wins uh, this time around. I would really like my 500 Lapis um, to try and build up and save up more Lapis for hope whatever the next event will be. I'm hoping is something something good. Uh, not Ariana Grande. I'm not sure how good she is, but I I don't know. I'm a Final Fantasy fan, not a Ariana Grande fan. But I mean, like if she's a good character and she does things, maybe I'll pull on her, just because it's it's good to have overpowered characters. But I think it would be a a really good idea for Gumi because they are promoting this to just give Ariana Grande to us for free it would be probably their best promotion they could do they add a song in there for the opening for the game and they do like a collaboration with her and then they give this character to everybody so it's like here you go like support this artist as well like as we are also supporting her kind of thing so they should do something like that but who knows I'm not Gumi I'm not really sure if they're going to uh, support her or support us in that way or show us her support that way. So we'll see. We'll see what they do. So I'm doing pretty good right now. 25 wins, no disconnects. Really, that's the only way I lose in this game is getting disconnected so far. All right, we got one more. And then after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on my, uh, my JP account. And I'm just going to show you around. On my GP account. That's kind of what I was going to do this video for. I'm going to do a little bit of PvP and I'm going to show you my GP account. My GP account is brand new. It I started it last event. 
I'm uh, sorry, not last event, during the raid. So just one day, I figured, I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm going to go make an account uh, on GP because right now they also have Noctis. I'm like, it would be really cool to get a Noctis on GP because uh, GP Noctis is extremely overpowered. So boom, I go in there. First try, boom, I get it, uh, Noctis out of the banner from the from the 5 or the 11 pull. Because they have the 11 pulls. We have on global, if you re-roll, you get uh, 10 summoning tickets. So you don't get to do the roll like they would do it. But they get, uh, you can they get to do one 11 roll. So I got Noctis. And I figured, hey, you know what, I got Noctis, I'm going to play a little bit. And I was kind of doing the raid because it was really, really easy. And it was easy to level up. So I played that. I'm gonna kind of show you where I, I am they, right now. They got the King's Glaive event going on, which is really super super cool. Uh, and they have they have Cerebrus or Cerberus or however people pronounce it as the boss, which is really really cool. He is bad ass. So right here, as you can see, the event. I don't read Japanese, but I tried my best to try and complete all the missions. So for the second part of the week of the King's Glaive event, they released Cerebrus or Cerberus or however you want to say it. I'm going to say Cerebrus. So, this event is really, really interesting. So, the way I beat it is because my characters, as I'm going to show you in a second, are not super duper overpowered. Um, he is extremely weak to poison. If you poison him, the poison will tick for 400,000 and he's got like 2.5 million life. So, essentially, what you want to do is build a party that can survive. And that's exactly what I did. I made a party that could survive. So the party I brought is this party minus this girl here. Um, this is this was from the raid from the Hunter X collaboration. So I brought all these guys. I so I have my Noctis here. So all my guys are maxed out. I six starred them so that they can survive, and then I brought a friend Noctis and used Fire Flask to poison him and then made my Noctis jump in the air and survive as long as possible for him to kill it so that I can get this uh, this awesome dagger which uh, I had encrypted on Crow. She is wearing it right now and as you can see it's 84 attack. Uh, it does a plus 20 to spirit. It also gives you a bonus of plus 20 to mana and on top of that it, she also gets from this dagger 10 to all the resistances. So I can see if I can show you that here. So you see she gets 10 for everything and water it's negative right now. Uh, I don't know what I have equipped that does that, but maybe that the dagger does it because don't read Japanese. I don't know. Um, but yeah, these weapons and items that I also got are from the from the raid event, which was actually really, really fun. And it was easy. It was kind of the thing that made me keep the account. Otherwise, I would have just kind of uh, not done it. So here, so we just wanted to come into. I just wanted to show you my uh, my box, my Japanese box. As you can see, I've been having a lot of luck pulling uh, the golden crystals, and I got myself a lot of these. Uh, I think his name is Garner, Garn, Gazin, something with a G. I can't remember. I only watched Kingsglaive once, so I got a lot. Of, I got lucky. I pulled a lot of him, and I only got one crow from my daily summon. So I was really happy about her because she's kind of like a, a buffer support healer thing. So she's really really good. Without her, I wouldn't have been able to beat that event. So I've also gotten really lucky, and I believe this is her name is Victoria. And she currently ranks as the best black mage or caster for uh, Japanese version, but uh, I think Trans Terra or Garnet or whatever it is, she's technically better. But this one has better ranking, so I'm not really sure how it works in Japan. But I have three of her. I got lucky somehow. I got Veritas of Water and Veritas of Earth, so I'm leveling up both of them right now because Veritas of Water will gonna become my healer, I think, because I don't have any other good healers. And uh, Veritas of Earth is gonna become my tank because I don't have any other tanks. And I got a bunch of Muggles saved up. I'm hoping to get a Zidane one day so that I can uh, just get dual wield and give it to my Noctis. So I got a bunch of these already saved up. I'm getting pretty close. I just don't have the Zidane. Uh, yep. So that's uh, that. That's my box there. And uh, I'm not really far in the story, so I have a lot more Lapis to farm up. I'm hoping to farm up more Lapis and farm up more event points so that I can get my Ifrit. Uh, all the way up. I want to try and get him. I've been feeding him right now to try and get him to level two, and then I'm gonna. I'm. A, I'm about to unlock uh, Golem so that I can actually use my tank. So. Uh, so that's kind of my box. So this video is uh, is on the short end on in my channel. So. Uh, that's kind of where it is. Um, let's see here. I'll just do one Colosseum so you can see 
my dudes in action. Uh, but yeah, it's, I'm, it's, I'm brand new on this, so I, I'm not really far in the in the Colosseum or the story or anything. So I'm going to show, let's say, let's show off some these cool cool effects from some of these guys, like uh, her buff. Here you go. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it looks cool. Actually, that one's pretty brutal. Uh, Noctis. Noctis is really cool. Actually, in Japanese version, when he uses an ability, um, he his next ability... He gets one which is like 810% increased attack. He's like super overpowered. He does like hundreds of thousands of damage even against bosses. So yeah, here's a really cool attack from Gennard, the general from King's Glaive. Let's see what this guy does. There you go. Just shocks and we'll defend with her. I just want to show you that Noctis attack. What I mean. So when you use any of his abilities, uh, he gets this ability right here which is the 58 mana or MP. This one does a lot of damage, even on like the King's Glaive event. So it does tons of damage. Look, 130,000 plus three or two more attacks for 45,000. That's huge. But yeah, I hope that as global comes to f like it gets more advanced, it gets a little bit farther, that we will also get um, maybe some enhancements for Noctis so that he can actually become as strong as this Noctis when we are at this point in the game. Because right now, we're la as far as this Noctis is, we're lacking, like we're way behind. Alright, so that's uh, my video with a little bit of PvP and kind of an overview of my JP account. Mm, those are my dudes, those are my characters. Um, I'm hoping to play this a little bit more and get a little bit more better characters. And uh, maybe save up some Lapis and do more summons for you guys so that you can kind of maybe have an idea of what's coming up in the you know five, six, seven months from now. Okay, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you uh, feel like. Leave a comment if there's something you want to see from the Japanese version or uh, if you want me to answer some questions in the next video about the Japanese version, I would be more than happy to. I've been playing it now for about like three weeks, four weeks, and I've, uh, I'm starting to learn a little bit more about the game. So thanks again. Thanks for hanging around. I'll see you guys out there.